It's a big slowing field. He moves at you with his claws. Still a lot and of And turtle stance, yeah. yeah. Um, it's the empowerment from his passive that really is the big change from old Udyr. But regardless, we can talk about more about that when we this get this area into because of how Neon and Kaiser moved. So we'll see if uh, Vitality are wise to this. Though on his way down, got in without being spotted. Aquapism going down, and Mickey's already fallen. Heal not enough to save them. Hans Summer getting chased away here, and you quite kill off Kaiser. Wow, that was so close. Bodo making his way no top. Flash. Broken Blade trying to get away from first one. He puts the needle work in. The path coming out from Broken Blade, but the flash forward, not back with the all out. Broken Blade will fall first, and now Yike in a sticky situation. They're going to fight over this one, or are they? As we see Perks moving across, Kaiser's hit six. Now they want to fight. The dragon is secure, but Kaiser has that enchanted Crystal Arrow. Hits onto Yike. Neon on the chase as well. Chain of Corruption already being used, but the Mob gets Yike out just in time. No flash on Mickey as you Chain of Corruption said. dodged away by Hans Summer. Now Hans Summer doesn't have that dash to escape. The waiting fangs of Perks. A Cobra lying in wait. The cleanse coming out. The heal used as well. They're just going to turn their eyes over to Mickey. Mickey sacrifices himself. Tasty sashimi for vitality, but Mickey nowhere to go. Neon will secure the kill. Okay, so they hand the kill over. They create the pincer onto Yike. We have arrow up. We have chain of corruption as well. Bo looking forward here, but that dragon will be secured by Hans Summer. Yike actually didn't have seconds, but the petrifying gaze is going to hit here onto Caps, and he's rooted in place. Season the assist coming out as well, and there's nowhere for Caps to go. Perks once again slays his former team. Mental warfare there against Caps. Like, such great awareness from him to recognize that someone might be in that brush. But the moment he sees Bo... Pushed out by Hans Summer, though, Vitality invested all their players in the river here to make sure they could secure this. But Yike continues to step forward, does have the smite this time. TP coming in, Yike caught, but the smite does go down. Yike will take his season to assist on him, but he's going to be able to run away from this one. Pedifying Gaze as well, used down towards the bottom side. Yike has already gone down, Hans Summer able to chase away. Caps being chased by Bo. Kai's on his way to ch get in here as well. Caps does still have the Realm Warp, he's going to try and use it because he knows Bo just used... His knock-up, but Bo still able to get him down. Broken Blade in the bottom lane will take a one. Then, looking at the, the, the scoreboard below, G2 weren't even able to pick it up. So while they did steal it away, the only advantage that they walk away with is the fact that Broken Blade secures the tower, does get a solo kill onto Photon. So well, we've seen it twice now. The grounding goes down into the ultimate from Vi. Basically just locks you in place. There's nowhere for you to go. And you get chains, two items completed. He's the biggest threat. They're looking for Hans. Arrow wants a Hans, but immediately he cleanses it. Perks are trying to dive in here as well. Perks coming in from the side. Already Yike is down, and now Perks is in prime position to wail away on Hans. Twin fangs after twin fangs find their mark. Broken Blade now standing tall. The Aquarism will connect with two kills over to Vitality and the Dragon to boot. And I was saying that Hans is the player you need to watch, and Vitality said the same thing. isn't giving them a single one. The Baron is on the cards, and there is no jungler to steal this one away. And yeah, no way you take this one. Bo will Secure it. 10 to 1 now. Vitality are 5. DC locked down. The grounding applies to slow. The ultimate from Photon as well as we go back to life. Photon trying to trade here in the top lane. Puts the needle work down. Broken Blade though knocks him back. Brings him back to the fight. And the shot. God, I, I'm always impressed by Caps' awareness here. Has He's been respecting the possible dive. Will not fall prey to it. Vitality will. able to play across two lanes here. Pulling G2 here and there. Meaning that they secure... They went their separate ways. <laughs> if if, if yeah, I that, read that correctly... That's, uh, that's too much maths for me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm here to play and not to study as Bo face checks in. Realm Warp coming out. Broken Blade able to get in there. Yike is not, though, and so Bo can continue with the chase here. But Yike, not really the one you want to be chasing. The slow coming down from the Wingborn Storm means that Yike continues to harass and to harangue. Meanwhile, Perks is taking the dragon by himself. G2 didn't want to fight this. Second dragon of the game for Vitality. They try to get the, the TP from Broken Blade right now. I feel like that's I mean, the play. The thing is, Yike can just step forward far enough that they know that this isn't actually really happening very quickly. Now, Yike is going to try and get into the river here, but even with the Tidal Wave coming in, you're not really going to be able to get there in time. Yike can't get past Perks, and the Baron has already been taking TP coming in from Broken Blade. Photon looking to go in as well. Hansama caught in the season assist, but it's only Photon and Bo who are there. Broken Blade actually brings him across the wall straight onto the face of Hansama, but Broken Blade tries to act as the wall. The needles that will pierce his skin and take him out. Sent to the morgue. Hansama will fall. Meanwhile, on the top side of the fight, Neon still trying to chase Mickey X down. Mickey has nowhere to go. Neon takes the second of the fight. Perks and Pies are trying to escape from Caps, who's still full health. Well, pretty much full health and full mana. Yike now joining the fray. Perks flashes. So does 
Kaiser and the Miasma will stop them. The Realm Warp coming in as Caps looks for the chase. Seraph shielding on him is not going to be enough, but now Bo joins the fray. No matter on him as well as Caps will keep him at bay. Yike with the Windborn Storm, not quite enough. It is in the end to take down Kaiser. That's the power of the fray orb for you as Caps chase onto Perks once again. Bo coming in behind them. The damage from Neon is enough. The piercing arrow finds his mark. In these fights, mana that you spend, you get healing back. Damage that you take, you get mana back. And obviously, the Seraph's helping you out with that as well as Vitality are able to push in this bottom lane. Useful Vitality, they've shifted Photon into the mid lane. Broken Blade still down here on the bottom side. No wave though for Photon. Tidal Wave has been used as they go into Perks and Kaiser, and immediately they locked him down. Season Desist going on to Hunt Summer. Perks wants to stop watch. Kaiser's already fallen. Perks next on the menu. Hunt Summer able to take him. He will fall in response. Bow now in the midst of two. Neon fighting off towards the backside. Caps gets on him with the spell flux. And now Caps just trying to clean up these kills in the end. Decides he doesn't really want a piece of that. Vitality will be one away. Now on Soul Point for the Hex Soul. The threat and threat of an arrow. He's gonna use it. He hits Broken Blade. Bow on his way. Neon chasing in as well as so is Perks. Caps trying to get away. The Realm Warp step back, but the Season Desist will stop him. And that means neither Caps nor Broken Blade will live to survive much longer. Phase rush on Caps. Flash as well, but Bow flashes for the chase. And the slow and the damage is enough. Bow takes him out. Two kills over to Vitality. G2 immediately trying to react and try and take down this mid lane tower, but there's TP available. G2. I think that the idea is promising. You have Caps, Shadow, Broken Blade in a side lane. Like the same was true for G2. While they did look for that tier two in the mid lane, they couldn't really punish the collapse that Vitality was making on the bot because they were able to collapse back up towards the top side and then secure themselves the ban. You stop, of course. They go for Kaiser, the Colin coming out as well. Pedophine gets already used, the tidal wave being used. The season of Desist to the back line. Mick is already down, but Hunt Summer somehow still alive on the back line. But Caps just stepped into the middle of the mall and was immediately deleted. Broken Blade now stepping. 1v5, Cassante can do a lot, but he can't do this. Yike pays for it with his life. Vitality. Damage. Vitality are looking dominant, and they're looking to secure the top spot in the LEC. And lock themselves a spot in the group stage. Miasma forward with the flash there. Hans Summer able to dodge to the side of it. Cleanses away from the arrow as well. Somehow you got to cull this wave. You've got to clear it out. Broken Blade trying to do what he can. Mickey now up. Photon stepping in. But the Nexus Tower is the target for Vitality. Already they have fallen. Hans Summer goes golden. But I don't think he's going to survive much longer. Broken Blade able to kill off Bow. Something no one really has done this game. But Vitality will take the Nexus. And they will take their spot in the best of threes.